Okay, in this video I wanted to go over what's called the slope y-intercept form of a linear equation. Now, often when we're dealing with lines, it's helpful for us to be able to use the equation of a line rather than just using points on the line. Uh, for instance, in this example, it's pretty easy to see I'd have, you know, like what the values at negative 3 and 0 are, or at the point B at 3, 4. But what about at, say, point 500? So when x is equal to 500, what does y equal? It's not so easy to see, and it's not easy to extrapolate uh, on this graph because um, you just can't go that far. So it's really helpful to be able to have the equation, and I'm going to show you how to how we can uh, generate that equation. Now, one of the forms of use uh, for a linear graph is what's called the slope y-intercept form, and all graphs follow this. All linear graphs follow this. Okay, and basically it's this. Uh, box in the rectangle here is that y is equal to mx plus b, okay, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Okay, and that's why it's called the slope y-intercept form. Okay, so if we are given two points on a on a line, what we can do is we can use the slope y inter uh, we can use the information on this to find the, uh, the slope y intercept form of the equation, and then from that we can solve a lot of other problems. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to have to do is we are going to have to find the slope. Uh, you can't find the y intercept uh, right away. In this case, you can because you can see it, um, but in most cases, you're not going to be able to find it just right off unless the numbers just work out really nicely. So you always should, you always should start off with the slope. Okay, and then what we'll have is we have m, which is the slope, is equal to the change in y divided by the change in x. Okay, and in this case, I'm going to use points A and B. So I've got 4 minus 0, okay, and 3 minus negative 3, okay, and that will give me 4 minus, or 4 over 6, which is going to be 2 thirds. Okay, so that's my slope, is 2 thirds. And what that means is that for Every time the graph moves across three units, it's going to move up two. And so you can see that's actually true. So it goes one, two, three to the origin, and then one, two up and to this point, and then we go one, two, three across, and one, two up to this point. Okay, the B value then um, can be found by looking at a property of the Y intercept. Okay, and the Y intercept here has uh, the property of having an x value of 0. So this is 0, b. Okay. So what we can do is we can set up another slope equation. Okay, so I can say m is equal to delta y over delta x. So change in y over change in x. Okay, and I can use b and the y-intercept. Okay, so I'm going to use 4 minus this lowercase b, okay, so this 4 and this b, uh, all over 3 minus 0, okay, and I will get 4 minus b all over th 3 is equal to the slope, which is 2 thirds. Okay, so I've got an equation like this. Okay, and this works because these three lines must be collinear. And if you don't know what that means, please check out my previous video on um, parallel perpendicular lines and collinear points. Okay, anyways, um, I end up with this equation, and then what I have to do is just solve this equation. So I've got both 3's in the denominator position, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 to get a, um, to eliminate the denominators. So I got 4 minus b is equal to 2, and b would be equal to 2. Okay, now given that, what I can then do is plug the numbers into this slope y-intercept form of the equation. Okay, so I would get y is equal to m, which is the slope, 2 thirds, x plus b, which is 2. So 2 thirds x plus 2, and this okay, is the equation of this line. Okay, and so given my earlier example, if I wanted to find um, the value when x was equal to 500, yeah, I could just easily put in the 500 here, solve for y, and find out what that would be. Okay, um, and so you can do that for a lot of different things. This is an essential skill 
uh, pretty much in all of high school mathematics and pretty much math onwards. Understanding slope is an essential concept for nearly all mathematics, so um, I would advise you to really pay attention to these concepts when your teacher's teaching them or um, or whatever situation you're in. All right, so anyways, um, that's the slope point intercept form. Um, if you do have any other questions, uh, please drop a comment in the comment box or send me an email. If you do like the video, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you do like my channel, then please consider subscribing.